हेलो एवरीवन लेट्स जस्ट फर्स्ट अंडरस्टैंड क्लासिफिकेशन वर्सेस रिग्रेशन द डिफरेंसेस बिटवीन दिस टू व्हाट इज क्लासिफिकेशन व्हाट इज रिग्रेशन लेट्स जस्ट टेक एन एग्जांपल दैट यू आर गोइंग टू प्रोड्यूस द नेक्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ द मूवी क्रैश एंड यू हैव दिस काइंड ऑफ डेटा वेयर यू हैव द एक्टर रेटिंग एक्ट्रेस रेटिंग एंड द बजट बीइंग अ प्रोड्यूसर बेसिस ऑन दिस डेटा ऑफ कोर्स यू वुड लाइक टू predict the audience responses that means you want to understand whether the movie will be super hit or it will be a flop so this kind of prediction which you are trying to do you see these are categorical so this will be referred as classification whenever you are trying to do this kind of classification sorry categorization or this kind of prediction that's simply classification these are discrete when you put that in numerical form this will will be discrete for example you can say super hit equals to 1 flop equals to 0 or the either way but the moral of the story is the numbers will be discrete and that's why we call it classification but these are the dependent numbers okay these are the de dependent values independent values will not necessarily be discrete okay that could be anything uh, continuous or discrete anything but using the same data or maybe different data when you try to predict the collection that means earning that means you want to predict how much the movie will make whether it will be 1000 crore 1500 crore or 2000 crore so these are the values if you see these are in continuous numbers okay so if you are trying to do any prediction which will produce the output in continuous number that is nothing but the regression so the moral of the story is classification would have discrete output and regression prediction will have continuous numbers you notice over here this this discrete is classification and it is continuous so it is regression problem i just hope that it is clear let's put it way in a very simple way you are producing a movie if you are trying to predict whether it will be super hit or flop that means simply you are trying to predict a classification if you are trying to predict its earning which is in continuous in number right then you are simply trying to find the regression all right then why logistic is called regression and not the classification okay i understand let me try to help you explain now you agree with me that linear is a regression all right yes i heard you you agreed so then you should also agree that this is the formula for simple linear regression yeah you are nodding your head that it is right now let's see in case of logistic in case of logistic also we can use we at the core the same formula is used but what happens whatever output comes out of this on that the sigmoid is applied and when that is applied it converts the number in the range of 0 to 1 right so that's why we see the logistic output as 0 or 1 and in this formula this part which you see this is something which causes it to call logistic regression does it make sense yeah to some extent it makes sense but you know we can have some more clarity all right let me try to help you more so let's take a hypothetical example using this formula you predicted the earning to 102.5 crores okay this is the amount which you predicted that the movie will earn let me tell you these numbers are completely hypothetical whatever number i am going to show over here those are completely hypothetical even the calculation as well if you want to do if you want to get the real output then you apply this formula in python or maybe somewhere else and then you can get you might or might not get the same number okay but as of now these are completely hypothetical please take a note of that now this is the value which we got out of this formula let's see what happens when you apply the sigmoid so when you apply the sigmoid it will bring this value in the range of 0 to 1 let's take an hypothetical example that it brings this value in the range of 0.563 all right so this is the effect of sigmoid now what 
happens in logistic logistic puts a threshold on the output which is coming out from here the threshold would be something like this if the value is greater than 0 0.5 then make it 1 if it is less then make it 0 and that's how for this kind of value we get a output of 1 and this is what we see in the final output right either 1 or 0 all right now i can see that you are pretty much satisfied and this is why we call it logistic regression i just hope that it was clear to you thank you very much for watching the video